Welcome to the first of two video tutorials about Max Dictio, the module for linguistic quantitative text analysis, text exploration, and dictionary based analysis, available in Max QDA Plus and Max QDA Analytics Pro. Come join me in snooping around the Sherlock Holmes novels and short stories to find out about their use of gender descriptions. This should be interesting. An essential part of Max Dictio is to calculate and analyze frequencies of single words or entire word combinations. Let's start our Sherlock Holmes adventure by looking at the most frequently used word combinations in both the novels and short stories. Up here, I can decide how many words my word combinations should consist of. This number can range from 2 to 5. For now, I want at least 4 words in a combination. On the left, I select which part of my data I want to analyze. I can choose all documents, or limit the analysis to activated documents, or the content from the retrieved segments window. On the right, I can decide to display additional information for single documents, document groups, or for codes. I'll select to count each document group separately, so that I can compare frequencies in short stories and novels. Additionally, I could use a stop list, which is a list of all the words that Max Dictio should ignore. You can download standard stop lists from our website, or create and fill them in yourself. If you're working on more than one Max QDA project, save a stop list as global so that you can access it in all of your projects. Lemmatization is a very useful option if you want to summarize all words that stem from the same base form. So, if you activate this option, the words going, went, and gone will all be summarized under the term go. Let's have a look at the result table. These columns contain information about each word combination. We can see how many words there are in each combination, how often they occur, their subsequent rank, and in how many of the analyzed documents a word combination appears. The two columns in the back split up the frequencies for short stories and novels. For example, the combination The Adventure of the appears 45 times in total, 44 times in short stories, but only one time in novels. By using these three buttons over here, I can display additional information for my document groups. I can see in how many documents this combination appears, or the rank that a combination holds within each document group. If I decide to limit the display to the 10 most frequently used combinations, then this rank will also only be calculated on the basis of those 10 words. Hover over an entry with the mouse cursor to view all the variations of a combination. To ignore a word combination in the future, right-click on it and select to add it to the stop list. The same can be done by double-clicking here, or by selecting multiple items by holding down the Shift key and clicking on this symbol. To recalculate the frequencies, click the Refresh button over here. Now those entries are gone. Stop lists can also be edited by opening them from the menu and removing or adding an entry. Let's snoop around our results to find some clues that touch on the topic of Sherlock Holmes and gender. I can already see that men appear up here but there's no sign of a word combination that includes women. To investigate further, I'll filter the column Word Combination to display only combinations that contain either man or woman. Now, even with the active filter, it's still all about men. Ah. Here we have something, and here's another entry. To take a closer look at these two entries about women, I'll display each finding here. 
and since the result table is interactive, I can click on an entry to display the original source in the document browser. I can then also code my findings with a new or existing code for further analysis. As usual, I can set the weight of the newly coded segments and define how many of the surrounding words, sentences or paragraphs will be coded. If you want to learn more about Max Dictio, tune into our next tutorial, where we'll look at more exciting features like dictionaries and the interactive word tree.